Hey guys, it's late in the day. Let's see here. It's. Uh, is it really 5? Yeah, it's 5.15. I was thinking it was 4 something. <laughs> Anyways, I'm talking low because Jesse fell asleep on the floor and I wanted to show you. He was laying there watching cartoons. I have a go in my mouth, sorry. Laying there watching cartoons and I was just sitting over watching some YouTube videos while I was cooking. I realized he hadn't moved in a while and I was like, I bet he fell asleep. And I tiptoed over there and there he was sleeping. It's so cute. I just grilled some chicken in the house. We got a grill pan. First time using it and I totally messed it up. I didn't. I learned after I finished cooking that you're not supposed to oil the pan. You're supposed to oil the meat. Because if you oil the pan, it smokes. And I smoked up the house. But, you know, I'm young. I'm still learning. <laughs> But uh, for next time, I know not to do that. <laughs> but I grilled some chicken so that we can eat on it the next few days with salads. Because Devin and I both like um, putting ch roasted or grilled chicken in with a bunch of, you know, salad and eating it. And then I ate one. I just finished eating one. Now I'm sitting here watching some more YouTube videos, trying to get caught up. I'm finally down to 12 videos in my watch later. It'll go up later today when people upload. But this morning, there was way more than 12. Luckily, a lot of them were really short, so I was able to, you know, watch them without um, dedicating a lot of time to it. I had a whole list of things I was wanting to do today, mostly cleaning things. But I've been crocheting all day, <laughs> pretty much. I did clean a little bit, and um, I crocheted. I'm on row 100, round 100 on the Mandala Madness, and there's 111. So I'm getting almost done. <laughs> I'm probably about to work on that again. Actually, I may be on one, a one now. I think I'm on one on one now. Yeah. I'm. I uh, guess I'll clean tomorrow. <laughs> so I already, I made my to-do list, and I just never got around to do, to even looking at it. I did organize my craft area a little bit. Oh man, I just saw where Jesse left a popsicle and it melted. I gotta clean that. It looks old too. It's been there for a while. Anyways, I don't know if you guys have ever paid attention enough in my other videos to see how messy my um, workstation is. There are dishes here, but they're not dirty. I was using them to measure circles on cardboard. <laughs> but um, I cleaned it up a little bit. I wanted to fit my recipe books over here. So I moved all my books down here. This is all stamping stuff. My stamps and ink pads and all that. This brown box is the stitch markers I like using. These are mine, like for gifts from people. Uh, this is a jewelry box too, by the way. This is my sewing stuff. Both of these little boxes and my sewing machine, obviously, right there. These are packages I got a mail Thursday. This is all my miscellaneous crochet stuff and stitch marker stuff. These are two things for the fair that I got to finish just by sewing buttons on and, um, hot gluing a dowel too. <laughs> these are addresses y'all don't need to see. <laughs> these these little containers have a bunch of beads and stuff for stitch markers. This is all my cotton yarn and scrubby yarn because after I get done with the Mandala Madness I want to make some dishcloths. And these are um, yarns for Christmas ornaments that I want to work on. This is all kinds of stuff for when I get Etsy sales. It's the labels and the thank you cards and all that. And here's packaging. This is the binder of patterns that I couldn't fit on this other bookshelf. And these diaper boxes I use to store yarn for projects that I'm currently working on or want to work on soon. <laughs> like this is for uh, Afghans and the Halloween uh, Afghan I'm working on, the Mandela Madness, any of the extra yarn for stuff like that I throw up there. And these are my whips. <laughs> these are all the ones that's on pause right now until I get done with the Mandela Madness. So. It's a little bit more organized than it was. And then down here, that bottom toe is fabric, uh, large pieces of fabric. The middle toe is my, I call my boy color yarns, blues, greens, blacks, grays, colors like that. That other toe is our movies because we had a shelf with our movies on it and Jesse broke it. So now our movies are just boxed up until we can get another bookshelf to put them on. These are all the big materials for outside pieces of bags. And these are my scrap pieces that I use for um, notion pouches and drawstring casings. And then these totes. That bottom tote 
is my weird yarn is what I call it it's like variegated cake yarn stuff like that and then this top toe is my girl colors that I call them it's reds pinks whites creams purples colors like that this is yarn that I have nowhere else to put it <laughs> this uh, Karen back here I'm gonna actually donate to somebody because I bought it forever ago and I just don't like Karen simply soft I don't like the way it feels these are all my bags that are currently listed for sale and this bag back here is scrap balls. I had a ton of scrap balls before summer. And then when Kat was here, she helped me use up a ton of them. And I'm actually glad for that because they were piling up big time. I do use scrap material. Material. Scrap yarn for emigurumis. But uh, I haven't been working on any lately. So they were stacking up. But uh, like I said, Kat helped me use a ton of them. And now I just have that one little shopping bag full of scrap balls. And they're mostly dark colors because she picked out all the cute, pretty colors to play with. And then if you ever notice this thing hanging on the wall. We got this at Jesse's baby shower. And when he was a little baby, we used it. It's like a diaper diaper changing station that you, you could hang off a crib or beside the crib. We would keep it. We had it hung in his room and kept stuff like that on it. But now that he's bigger, I keep it in here. And these are my project bags that I use for my, um, my own projects. And these random yarn balls are variegated ones I didn't want Kat to use. So I put them here because I want to make Amber Grammys out of these. And this is a bag that I made. That's a picture of Devin and his dad and Jesse when Jesse was born. And then I got my headphones and his butt cream as he calls it up there. We don't really have to use that much anymore now that he's older. But I keep it in case. And then there's a pumpkin. <laughs> That's kind of just another area for me to stuff stuff. Because I use this dining room as my craft room. But it's really awkward to put anything in here because on this wall is the french doors to go outside this little wall right here is the what's that thing called breaker box <laughs> that door is the air conditioner unit and the water heater right there's the uh, thermostat and that's the <laughs> doors to the laundry area and then there's a window right there so there's no free wall space to put shelves that's why this one corner is where I put that I do want to get another tall bookshelf to put right here and then I'll move the calendar over the breaker box just you know because it's easy to move and I'm thinking about getting another bookshelf to put here and then on the drawer that would be right here you know those cardboard things in the back I was just gonna cut out the space for that and um, put stuff around it to where it's still accessible through the bookshelf but uh, and not covered up because I need more space I want to eventually have my yarn in tote or on bookshelves out of totes and we need to get an entertainment center to put the uh, movies on <sighs> we need a lot of stuff but we're always trying to take care of littler things that we need before we get furniture <laughs> because we, we would like to have furniture but it's not actually a necessity we have everything we actually need so but I would like to get furniture eventually <laughs> And especially when we get a house, which hopefully will be in a couple years.